Did you know that pneumonia is Kenya's leading killer disease and the number one killer of children, especially under the age of five? Every pneumonia death is one too many. But why should children die of a disease that can be prevented, diagnosed and treated? Well, tonight we take you to Turkana, a county whose culture is synonymous with beads. An innovation known as Ngakoromwa, a string of beads is being used to diagnose pneumonia and make a referral before it's too late. Here is Dorcas Wangira with our special report, Beads of Breath. <laughs> In just one minute, Onesmas Elar Ajon, a community health volunteer in Napete Tesiro, will know whether two-year-old Frederick Ekai has pneumonia or not. His mother Elizabeth Apam holds on to him. Ajon observes the chest in drawing as Frederick breathes in and out. The respiratory timer is set. Wakati utafinya, hivi, ndio unaanza sasa kwa hesabu hizi ndio siende pa moja. Una hesabu tulia mtoto anafumua. The count begins, bead by breath. Because Frederick is two years old but still under the age of five, Ajon uses Ngakoromwa, the beads in the local dialect. He uses the red and black beads. The string has 60 beads, 21 red and 39 black. He's counting the black beads. If he counts and gets to the red beads, it will mean one thing, a danger sign. Child above one year with respirations above 39 breaths per minute is considered to have pneumonia. For a child below one, they use the green and red beads. Likewise, it has 60 beads but 49 green and 11 red. A child of this age with more than 49 breaths is also in the red. Kama ni pneumonia, ikifika tuapa, huye mtoto atakuwa kwa hatari ya pneumonia. When the minute ends, Ajon records 31 breaths per minute for Frederick. Uh, and pneumonia, we are not yet at the stage where we can allow the CHVs to treat, but through them and through them managing to identify the danger signs, then we can get access to the children in time. Pneumonia is a disease that leaves desperately vulnerable children fighting for breath single largest cause of death in children under five, killing more than AIDS, malaria, tuberculosis, measles combined. It is a form of lower respiratory tract infection that occurs when viruses, bacteria and other microorganisms cause inflammation of the lungs, leaving them filled with fluid. The breaths become faster and smaller. The restricted flow of oxygen into the blood and body causes hypoxia, an often fatal condition associated with impaired consciousness and inability to feed as well as convulsions. <laughs> But Ajon is not finished yet. He pulls out the mid-upper arm circumference measure, the Muak strip. It will help to see if Frederick has malnutrition. Severe malnutrition multiplies the risk of pneumonia. Children who are malnourished are likely to get pneumonia four times more compared to adequately nourished children. Frederick's measure is green. It's normal. Yellow would mean that he is at risk. Orange, moderately malnourished, and red, severely malnourished. Ajon's work is done. There will be no referral. The most severe pneumonia is caused by bacteria. The good news is that there are effective vaccines available for immunization against the common bacterial strains, including Streptococcus pneumoniae, the deadliest source. It can be prevented. But why are children still dying? These children tend to play outside, so that exposure uh, really affects them to cold, especially at night. Over 80% of pneumonia deaths, according to the World Health Organization and UNICEF, occur among children aged less than two years old. Many are in the first weeks of life. Early onset can be acquired from the mother during labor or delivery, with distress beginning soon or after birth. The immune system of these children is weakened either by malnutrition and insufficient breastfeeding and is not able to respond to pneumonia infections. Inability to retain body warmth is also an aggravating factor. The bad news is that not all children are vaccinated against pneumonia and not all children are diagnosed accurately and early. Antibiotic treatment is either unavailable or not provided by the time they reach the health facility with proper care. The government should uh, target children from far-flung areas. Uh, I mean, children 
those were hard to reach. The Turkana community love beads, kakoromwa. The women use the beads to adorn themselves. But a new innovation has enabled community health volunteers such as Ajon to use beads to diagnose pneumonia in children. Hii ni tofauti na ile nimekwambia, hii ni afya. Hii ni ya kuchunga tu afya. Mina hii si ya kufaa upofu. Low literacy levels among CHVs was what necessitated the use of this innovation and has enabled CHVs to correctly identify, classify and refer children under five with pneumonia. Save the Children is currently supporting 133 CHVs in Loima sub-county with this innovation. CHVs are very important in the county of Turkana because they are the first care of treatment. They are in the community level whereby they sensitize people on the importance of coming to the health facility when they are feeling not feeling okay and also they are the ones who are following these children Atabo MSA Kakolom is one of the 24 CHVs in the Takwil unit. She pays a home visit to 36-year-old Naret Ekiteles and her two-year-old daughter Sunday Ekwa. Upon observing Sunday, she decides she will not use the beads. She shows no signs of fast breathing. The child have, uh, needs to be calm. He doesn't need to be crying. He should not be breastfeeding uh, and or eating. <coughs> She will check if Sunday is malnourished. The defining sign of kwashiako in a malnourished child is spitting edema, the swelling of the ankles and the feet. In Turkana, it is at least 20 to 30 kilometers to the nearest health facility for many of them. And high literacy levels contribute to poor health-seeking behaviors. Ajon is responsible for 93 homes. He is even referred to as a village doctor. <laughs> Pneumonia was described as the captain of the men of death by William Osler. Today in sub-Saharan Africa, it still is. The rallying cry is to increase the immunization coverage. No child ought to die because they are denied the benefits of prevention, accurate diagnosis and treatment. But here in Loima Turkana, the Ngakoromwa will continue to help saving children with each bead for each breath. Dr. Swangira, Citizen TV, Turkana County.